podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. There's a lot of buzz in Chapel Hill these days, and it has nothing to do with sports. The fans of this new spot are passionate about paint, serious about ceramics, and ensconced in sculpture. I just had to find out what's got everyone so excited, so we're heading to the Art Gallery Frank on Franklin Street for an enlightened After Dark experience. Heavy student traffic on Chapel Hill's Franklin Street is nothing new, but there is something new at 109 East Franklin that's drawing more adult traffic through this glass door. They call it Frank. Well, Frank is the newest and best art gallery in, in uh, Chapel Hill, and we are a collective. Uh, we have 26 member artists, and then we have 81 artists all together in the gallery represented. Uh, we have ongoing uh, changing exhibits, so about every couple of months we change the entire gallery around. We have walls that are movable, so we literally can change the gallery every couple of months for our special exhibitions. Um, we're also a nonprofit, and part of our mission is to connect with the community, and that's uh, become almost equally important to representing the art area artists in a very respectful and beautiful manner. Uh, the gallery, even though it is a collective, it doesn't mean that the artists get a certain amount of wall space. We really want the gallery to look beautiful and curated all the time. And that way all of the artists are treated well and we want the art to shine so that as the gallery does well, the, arts, the artists do well and that's good for the art community and it's good for the town as well. To have this on Franklin Street is amazing. We don't have anything like this. You can buy plenty of t-shirts, but to be able to come in here and just browse and look, and a lot of this is local, so you have your local artist, which is fantastic. Mark Hewitt, who is from Pittsburgh, whose work is very, very well known, extremely well known. He's a, a wonderful guy, and for him to put his stuff in here is pretty exciting. In this 3,400 square foot space that was once a drugstore, visitors can actually find something exciting in all of the works, especially the fact that the artists themselves staff the studio and are often available to talk about their pieces. These are all called walks because I'll take walks and then I'll collect things when I'm walking through the woods or just walking in my neighborhood. So it's little shards of rocks or leaves and then I simplify them, I stylize them and I simplify them. In this case, I've cut and altered the form dramatically to make it really more of a um, abstract teapot, uh, very gestural, very figurative, um, looks a little bit like a dancing figure. My color, even though it's based on looking at nature, has really nothing to do with nature other than it's a reference point. And my color influences have probably more to do with television and the intensity of Las Vegas or Times Square. At the rear of the gallery, you'll always find works by a featured artist of the month. On our visit, it was paintings by Paul Hersofsky of Chapel Hill, who finds this element mutually beneficial for the artist and the public. It's real important to me because it gives uh, the public and my clients a chance to see more than one piece that can see a body of work. And uh, I think then we can, we have a, a, a better departure point for me to talk about my progression. Adding to the excitement at Frank are opening nights for new exhibits. Tonight, the gallery welcomed a clay invitational curated by artist and Frank co-founder, Susan Philly. North Carolina is one of the really, the state's richest in clay artists um, across the country. We made sure to bring in a really wide variety of work from um, historical pottery styles to very contemporary pottery styles to um, figurative work, sculptural work, and um, some very intimate little pieces, some very colorful pieces that are um, made with low fire glazes, um, some porcelain which is a specific type of clay which is very ultra clean and white, and um, and stonework clay and others. We just, we, we curated to make sure we were bringing in a really wide cross-section of artwork. On nights like this, you may want to come earlier in the evening because as time moves on, more visitors move in and pieces get claimed and purchased early. Well, Frank is definitely a hit. And with more artists per capita than any other county in the state, 
they're going to have plenty of fine works to choose from as they refresh the interior space with new exhibits every single month or so. So be sure to visit and visit often. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Frank is located at 109 East Franklin Street in Chapel Hill. Regular gallery hours vary from Tuesday through Sunday starting at 11 a.m. And every Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. is Salon Night, where you can meet the artists. For more information about hours and special events, go online to frankisart.com or call 919-636-4135. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.